Well, hi everyone and welcome to our Astounding Love Bible Study. We are actually getting close to the end of this book that Pastor John Hutchinson wrote. We're on chapter 14. The title of this one is God's Great Astounding Love. And then the heading under it is Nailed to a Cruel but Conquering Cross. Now, this one is, this chapter is very different than all the others he's done so far. So I am taking the liberty of adding in some scripture. But before we do, let's open with a word of prayer. God, you are almighty God. You love us, you care for us, you're interested in every detail of our lives. And on the Lighthouse Discord server and on many other Christian servers, in life, God, lots of us, many of us struggle with various things. Our heart's desire is to serve you. Our heart's desire is to walk with you. But sometimes there are circumstances in our lives that cause us to struggle and strain. And we just feel that we can't quite get it right. But you hear us. You walk with us and you're here with us no matter what. And your word says where two or three are gathered, there you are in the midst of us. And so, Lord, we know that you're here with us today. Be with us in this study. Open our eyes, open our ears, open our minds to hear what you have for us. In your holy name, I pray. Amen. So, Pastor John Hutchinson, as you know, is someone that I know well. I, or knew well, because he passed away earlier this year. I would like you to listen to his introduction to this particular chapter before I read some scripture. He writes, this chapter is in a different format. It's what I call power poetry. It's not meant to be a pleasing entertainment, but a strong fervent message of God's great love for us and of our love and gratitude back to him. This was given to me by God, bit by bit, over many months, very much to my surprise. Then, in an amazing way, he clearly indicated that it should be a part of this book. Every bit of it is based on God's scriptures. This poem portrays us, you and me, speaking directly and personally from our own hearts to Jesus and to our great loving Father. It is our love gift to them for their amazing love gift to us. Now, we know Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit are part of the triune God. But for the purposes of this, Pastor John sort of separates them out just to make it clear that he very, very, very much believes or believed that the Trinity is God. Okay? I just felt to read a little bit of Psalm 103 before we get into Pastor John's. This is praise for the Lord's mercies, a psalm of David. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits, who pardons all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with loving kindness and compassion who satisfies your years with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord performs righteous deeds and judgments for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness. He will not strive, always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. 
For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his loving kindness toward those who fear him. That's verses 1 through 11 of Psalm 103. Now, let's listen to what Pastor John writes. God's great astounding love nailed to a cruel but conquering cross. Jesus, you gave yourself for us. Jesus, you are the only begotten Son of God, full of God's boundless love, grace, and truth. Truly, you are God manifest in the flesh for me and for your whole dark, sinful, lost world. Jesus, all of God's glory shone from your sinless life, and your crucifixion was God's astounding sacrifice to give his white-hot burning love to us all. You were betrayed, denied, and utterly forsaken, spit on, brutally bruised, and cruelly beaten, rejected, slandered, condemned, and crucified. Yes for me, and yes, for us all. Jesus, you willingly paid the greatest price. You were God's great love gift, sacrifice, on your cruel, cruel cross for us all. You, the King of glory, were shamed, despised, reviled, ridiculed, mocked, and scorned, willingly endured the whip, the thorns, the nails, for me and for us all. Jesus, you paid the terribly painful price. Your shed blood was God's precious sacrifice on your cruel, cruel cross for us all. You were stripped, whipped, horribly blasphemed, and your back was like a fresh plowed field. Jesus, you hung, nailed for six long, tortuous hours for me and for us all. Jesus, your visage was marred more than any man. A spear pierced your heart. Your blood poured out on your cruel, cruel cross for us all. Jesus. On your cruel, cruel cross, you lovingly bore all my awful sin and all my great guilt. You suffered, bled and died there for me, even for me, and even for us all. Jesus, you paid the full and complete price. You were God's loving, ultimate sacrifice on your cruel, cruel cross for us all. Then your battered body lay in that dark, cold tomb, while your spotless soul atoned for all our sin, suffering imaginable horrors in the depths of hell for me and for us all. Jesus, you paid the astounding supreme price. Your sinless soul was God's burnt sacrifice in the awful depths of hell for us all. Father, you gave your son for us. Father, your burning immeasurable love for us all compelled you from the foundation of the world to plan and ordain all of Jesus' suffering and death for me and for us all. Father, you fully gave yourself to us through him and Jesus took all our sin, our death, and our hell on his cruel cross and in his cold tomb for us all. Father, you were in your beloved son, suffering fully as much as he, to reconcile to yourself your whole lost world, including me and including us all. Jesus alone is the new and living way back into the arms of your astounding eternal Father love. By his cruel cross and the depths of hell. 
for us all. Father, you had to forsake your own beloved son when you laid our iniquity upon your Holy One. You made Jesus to be sin for us all. Yes, for us all, including me. Father, you paid the astounding ultimate price. Jesus was your precious love gift sacrifice on his cruel, cruel cross for us all. Father, the deep anguish you must have felt to make your beloved son Jesus suffer so, to do all this to your only begotten son for me and for us all. Father, you paid the full atonement price. Your dear son is your supreme love gift sacrifice on his cruel but conquering cross for us all. Father, you gave Jesus for us all. For every man and woman and for every boy and girl of every nation, tribe, and tongue on all this planet Earth, Jesus, you fully paid the everlasting price, redemption for your whole human race on your glorious saving cross for all the world. You defeated Satan and our sinful old selves, triumphantly won the keys to death and hell, and overcame all the darkness of your lost world for me and for us all. Jesus, you conquered all the demonic powers and became the King of kings and Lord of lords through your victorious triumphant cross for us all. How extremely precious we all must be to you. Of what high, high value and great, great worth for you to make such an incredible sacrifice for me and yes, for us all. Jesus, we were all captives of sin and selfishness, and you totally paid the immense ransom price on your redeeming, liberating cross for us all. Jesus, you looked ahead to totally undeserving me and to all who would ever believe in you. You saw that our love would be a greatly cherished joy. To you, Jesus, and also to you, Father, a very precious treasure and an extreme delight worth all your wonderful vicarious sacrifice on your astounding, marvelous cross for us all. Jesus, Father, I now receive you. Jesus, Father, I'm filled with great awe and wonder totally astounded and absolutely amazed to see your great burning eternal love for me and for your whole dark sinful lost world jesus your passionate love has totally won my heart by your atoning and substitutionary death on your precious loving cross for us all jesus spotless passover lamb of god thy faith I receive your precious shed blood. I receive all of your supreme loving sacrifice. And you want us all by faith to receive you. Jesus, Father, fervent love and gratitude fill my heart. And joyous praise overflows from my lips. Because your shed blood is the river of life for us all. Now by your death. All of my sins are forgiven, totally blotted out, never to be remembered. And they are all cast into the depths of the sea. And this is for all who humbly receive you. Jesus, instead of all my shameful sin, you now freely impute to me all of your pure righteousness through your amazing grace-filled cross for us all. Now you are seated on your throne in heaven, risen, absolutely triumphant from the dead. You reign supreme in all power and majesty forevermore for all who have received you. Jesus, 
you live victoriously to intercede for us. I receive by your grace alone, your total victory flowing from your glorious throne for us all. Jesus, Father, I now give myself to you. Father, you love to choose and use even the foolish and the weak, filling and flowing out through even me and through all who have received you. Jesus, you live victoriously in my heart, and your Holy Spirit is now entwined with mine. So reveal yourself to your lost, lost world through me. Jesus, Father, I completely give you all of myself, fervently and joyfully as a living sacrifice. This is my love gift with deep, deep gratitude to you, Jesus, and also to you, Father. I totally dedicate and submit my all to you and passionately apply to my whole life your cross. It is a tree of life for me and for all who, by faith sincerely, receive you, Jesus, as their Savior and as their Lord. Total forgiveness, complete acceptance, spiritual new birth, great transformation, and glorious eternal life. Postscript, to be continued exuberantly and passionately throughout all of eternity. Let's pray. Father, we thank you with all of our hearts for your astounding, white hot burning love for us and for sacrificing your dear son Jesus to redeem us from all our sin. Please give each of us the faith to humbly receive your great love, your son Jesus and his total atonement for, for the forgiveness of all of our sin. Enable each of us to completely give ourselves back to you as our love gifts with deep, deep, joyous gratitude. Through Jesus' death and resurrection, Father, we come back into the great big arms of your astounding, unconditional love. Father, Hold each of us close to your heart forever. <laughs>